The wildfires in Los Angeles earlier this year were intense and devastating. By official counts, 30 people died, but new research suggests that toll may be much higher. We estimated an excess mortality toll of 440 deaths, far above the official estimate. Our excess mortality estimate also includes uh, those deaths that were indirectly related to the wildfires. The research letter in the Journal of the American Medical Association points to several likely factors, including increased exposure to poor air quality and health care delays and interruptions. Experts say it's the latest in a growing body of research looking at how extreme weather events affect our health during a disaster and after. As long as we continue to think about the impact of climate, as being episodic, as being this event, that event, and that's the health impact. We're really going to be at a disadvantage. Many parts of Canada have been dealing with wildfires again this summer and the smoky air that comes with it. A big breath in and out. Good. Keep Respiratory out. therapists say patients can feel it. They're scared to go outside. They don't know what's going to happen if they go outside. They can't breathe. They feel like they're having difficulties to breathe. Their lungs are on fire. The LA fires burned a large urban area with the destruction of buildings and other materials like metals and plastics. In Canada, smoke from forest fires also brings health risks. When the air pollution increases, there's increased uh, risk of mortality from heart and lung diseases. Researchers are also warning about the long-term effects of exposure to wildfire smoke year after year.